Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now as you saw for the intro there, yes, I've put the Mantis into build. Yes, I've actually gone and spent some event store currency. So it had to be done because I've been hearing so much big stuff about the Mantis. Yes, it is now literally the free to play players grind to get it. If you've already got a load of blueprints from the um the arc when it was released from the battle pass what was it September or something like that and then you got some through the incursions but now you've got it in the event store yes we're going to show you that in a sec in fact I tell you what you saw where it was sourced it's in the event store it's cheap as chips go buy it if you haven't already got them you got a chance to get a maximum full pull of 100 blueprints Go do it. That's all I can say. So, anyway, I'm, before we actually move over the shipyard, I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, and also drop your comments in the section down below of what you think of the Mantis and everything, because we are going to cover as much as we can possibly cover. Now, the problem is, there is somewhere out there, and it will appear as a screenshot if I find it, the upgrade costs and everything. So, I am working on trying to find it. Like I said, a screenshot will appear if it's there. But anyway, there it is. There's my surfboard with its two guns. Yes, the Mantis is finally in dock. It's taken me nine days to build it. Well, guess what? No, it's not. We're going to speed that up. Yes, because we want to get it. We want to get it out. We want to show you what it's like. So, without further ado, let's use a 10 day. Yes, let's use a 10 day. Oh, here she comes. Oh. I now have a flying surfboard. Oh, is there torpedo launches underneath? Oh. She's got a fat ass though, hasn't she? She's got a fat ass. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's a fat ass. But there we go. So it's a mantis. So let's have a quick look around it. Then, so as you can see on the top, there is some turrets. There is um, some side turrets. I think they're back turrets along with a fat backside. And then you got some turrets underneath here as well. Um, there's your mantis eyes. Yes, the front w windows which look like mantis, which look like mantis eyes, and that's probably why it's got its name mantis because it certainly hasn't got the legs from mantis, has it? So anyway, that's that done. Now we're going to stick it in across on dock E, where the botany bay is currently stationed. Now, kicking, um, putting it under construction, obviously it was less than a million. So let's see what it's going to be out of the dock. So we're looking for that symbol that says new. There it is. So it's looking at 1 million already. And it is just over 1 million. So let's have a look at some of the details before we actually go into the upgrades. Let's do a general overview of the Mantis. So its ship ability is, um, what is it? Acting cor uh, Corrupter, which is a base stat of 62,000 um, percent against Acting Hostiles. That is a significant boost. Basically, it's like a Franklin and a Vidar in in that aspect. So it'll take on specific hostiles and it will shoot stronger against them. Um, now, we do have crew loadouts to look at. We do have systems, the uh, refinery that's coming with this. Yes, we've got dailies as well. Um, there's, there's lots to come with this. So, yes, we have got a lot to get through. So... Let's just have a quick look at some of the details. Um, kicking out a DPR of 120.77 thousand. Um, armor piercing 3,700. Shield piercing 53.22 thousand. Accuracy 5,000. Critical chance 12% and critical damage at 220%. So that's not particularly too bad. Um, armor 34,000. Shield deflection 3,600. And dodge uh, just under 3,000. So the total health we, health we have is 602,000. and uh, So that's shield health. And health health is um, 725,000. Now bearing in mind that this is a battleship. Which means it's going to have the strong hull. So bear that in mind. 
Um, kicking out the dog, obviously, Warp Range 48. Yes, I'm going to say 48 because I have Enhanced Warp Cores, which is going to give me at level 2, which is going to give me a boost of 10. So, kicking out at Warp Speed 48. Let me just double check it. If I can get my fat head out of the way. Yep, and then plus, so there you go, 48 plus 4 is going to take up to 52. In my case, that's going to be 62. So it looks like we can get some things upgraded on it already. But we're not going to be able to do is that one because we need a part for it. Yes, now where are we going to source this part? Claim from the Mantis Refinery. Ooh, so it looks like to get it up, uh, we need to be Ops 34 or higher. I'm going to be able to claim that. So it's level locked. Yes, it is level locked. But no fret, do not worry. So for most of us, we're already in the 40s. So we're going to be able to get this thing up to a decent tier already. So, right. So now, it, I'm just trying to think where we need to go from here. Now, it does require a special um, material to build it, which is this synthetic nitrium. Obviously, that's what you're going to need to actually build the um, ship itself. Um, as you can see, it doesn't look particularly too bad on price. However, before we jump in to actually upgrade anything on this ship, because I've got a funny feeling. Uh, 50, 110, 210. Moving myself over. Wee! 210, 245. Oh, no, actually, we can go and upgrade all these without an issue. Yay! Now, um, there are certain things that you have received towards the Mantis. Um, like some condensed venom, which is one of the things you're going to need to, to use its other special ability, which is to debuff players, which we will look at. Um, later on in the video. So, we've managed to get it up to 1.2 million. Oh, hang on. Whoopsie. We forgot the... Um, get it up to level 5. Oh, it's got to spend some latinum. That's fine by me. I don't care. So, boom. Let that just click in. And that should take us up to still 1.2 million. Woohoo! Now, I will sort out crews in just a minute, but before we actually jump on any further with it, let's look at the refinery. So, if you're on mobile, you will need to scroll just to find the Mantis refinery down here. Yay, we have it open. Fine. And as you can see, I have the power core there ready for me. So, I'm going to go claim that one, which means then I can do a tear up on my Mantis. Now... Everything you're going to see here is all tier 1. Yes, we're going to do tier 1, hence the reason why I want to show you this before we get into it. We will have a quick look again at tier 2, just to show you some increases. But, what you're going to need is you're going to need some of these ancient beacons. These are to access the systems, which we will again look at later on in the video. So, let's go ahead and claim them. You'll be able to get, claim two of them per day, as you can see. 22 hour cooldown. We're going to go through this step by step. Next one is Condensed Venom. Again, this is something you're going to be able to use, uh, which is going to help you sting players. You will be able to collect this on a daily basis. Again, let's get rid of that. View a uh, maximum load of 5,000, so which means you're going to be able to hold quite a bit. Um, I know for a fact that I've been getting various amounts through various... Um, Battle passes and some other events where it's just been dishing it out. Or it's been as an alliance gift when somebody's gone and bought a pack from the store. Um, next up, um, synthetic nitrium. Now, this Actian Venom, this is what you're going to get from the hostiles in the systems we're going to look at shortly. And obviously, you're going to need this for building your Mantis. Now, obviously, I'm, as you can see, I can't claim anything because I don't have any. Um, in amongst that um, list with all the things, if it appeared, is going to tell you how much um, how much of this venom you're going to be able to get per day if you use max max cargo, and then how to do it because these have varying days of cooldown. I do remember that these have varying days of cooldown. The downside is I'm not going to be able to show you unless we actually go raid a system and try and get some of this. Glorious Actium Venom. 
using the Mantis Refinery, earned by defeating Acting Hostiles. And then, as you see as well, we've got this whole fragment to get Strange New Worlds Oster Shards in Refinery, complete by daily doing your daily goals and refining Actium Venom. Now, the dailies, at the time of construction, yes, at the time of construction, they are not available. And I will show that to you. But, I will record that segment of the dailies when it actually appears, which will be in a few hours time. Because if we take a look in the top right hand corner screen where the Latinum is, you'll see the time pair up as 22.13. Yes, that is the time of recorded, that's the time of construction. So it will be recorded tomorrow, um, as soon as I get round to it, whether it be tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening. Um, next up for the Actium Venom as well is Synthetic Ion. This is what you're going to use in research. Yes, because the um, thing also has research. And I forgot to add that to my little list. So obviously the more research you can do, the better that you can make the Mantis. The more cargo, the stronger the ship will be. Yada, yada, yada. Now, here's the big bit. As you can see, it's, it's already on the screen. I wish it was like Blockbusters where you could turn around and say, well, the... The P is flashing, so let's play Blockbusters. Well, no, this is let's play Mantis because over there is the Syndicate XP. Yes, you're going to be able to get a daily pull of Syndicate XP. And there it is, Tier 1. What a whopping bonus. That is five times the daily limit I actually get. Yes, I, I, I actually know. I'm up to 800 now, so it's nearly double. It's nearly double now. Because obviously I've got my the Bajora Favor giving me 500 t per day. I've got the Syndicate um, tree itself giving me 300 per day. So this is going to be another boost. So that's going to give me around about 2300 per day. Yeah, I might just make 30 by the end of 2023. <laughs> so, but anyway... There's your cost for a single chest. Two chests, yeah, I wouldn't really recommend it unless you're feeling really flush. So just stick with a single chest. Now, next up is the hull fragments. Again, as you um, saw up in the little notifications at the top, it said as well you can get these as well. To be perfectly honest, right, this is what you're going to get is a payout in your dailies, right? For a thousand here, for six thousand of them, I really wouldn't r risk touching this one, but it's entirely your discretion. So, yeah, if you want to go for it, go for it. If not, now we already have forty-two thousand whole fragments for some shards. Now I don't know what the RNG is on this one, but look at this—a chance for a full pull of Pike, a full pull of Hemna. Oh, I could do with Hemner for synergy. And as well, he's got this one, uh, this thing that where he can take on survey ships. I want it. I want it. But like I said, I want it for synergy because then I can use the Lalan permanently on things like my Stella to boost the cargo. I can put the Lalan on the lower deck of the Mantis as well for things. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to smash through these 42,000. So we've got three Hemner, one, um, one Pike. But 14 Spock, 14 Spock, whoa, that's pretty good for a first pull, that, that is a pretty good, so let's try it again, roll those dice, another 10 Spock, 11 Ortegas, and another 2 uh, Ahura, so I've just re started re-watching uh, Strange New Worlds ahead of next year for when they do finally uh, announce when Season 2 is going to be dropped. So, roll those dice for a third time. Another one for Hemner. 17 Ortegas! Whoa! This is a pull and a half. Spock has obviously got another 5. Ahura's jumped up to 9. Wow. Ortegas is an officer I barely use. Literally barely use. So, one big push. What are we going to get? 12 Hemner! 12 Hemner! Whoa! And 12 Ortegas, another 9 Spock. Oh my god. I, wow. Wow. <laughs> that is something I was not expecting. That They were some bloody good pulls. Some bloody good pulls. So, but of course, they were using the um, Tez. I'll tell you what. Let, let's, be, let's just see what the single ones is. Look, 2 Ortegas, that's not too bad, really. So... 
Here we go. And to Uhura. So, some pretty good pulls in there. I've got to admit, some pretty good pulls. I was actually impressed with that. Um, uh, we've got some winning, winning stuff here. Oh, Battle Pass point six thousand. Oh, Domination. Yeah, we've got a Domination event going on, haven't we? Ugh. Boy, how we all love Domination. So, just clear them off. Right. So, the Mantis, as you can see, has now got its green arrow, which means something can be upgraded, which will be the Cargo Bay. Boom. Bang it in. There we go. Now, we haven't got any Nutrium to actually do the next tier. But there we go. So, it's still there. So, what I'm going to do is smash those levels up. Oh, dear. I forgot about that a little bit. So, I'll have to burn some Latinum. Um... I had an interesting encounter as well earlier today. Somebody from another alliance packed their sarcophagus on one of our capture nodes for no reason. So I went up, issued him a warning, said, move it or I'll shoot you. I shot him with my um, with my sarcophagus, properly crewed out, of course, and because he had PMC on the ship for some reason. But anyway, I'm up to two. I didn't really improve that much, has it? Um, if we could get those shields, it would. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so I shot him off, and he said, "I said thanks. I was level. I needed to level it up. You've just done me a favour. But we'll spend some latinum." Well, he turned around, and told me he's from Yorkshire. Nothing else needs to be said about that one. Literally, nothing else to be said. I mean, he dropped that co joke. I found that funny, and I just thought, you know what? You've just won that one. You've just won it. I, I can't. But anyway, so that's a general overview of the um, Mantis. We're just going to have a quick look. Um, now, my DPI has now got up to 140, uh, just under 145,000. Where's the point? Two decimals has come from. Well, I don't know why, but hey ho, just under 145,000 DPI. So that's not particularly too bad. Now, so let's have a look. We've launched it. We've done the general overview. We've done the refinery. Let's look at the systems. Yes, we're going to look at the systems next. Oh, hello. What have we got here? I think that's... Um... Oh, 14,000. There we go. So that's domination finally done. Yay! So which means now I have... Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> but we're not going to claim that just yet. So systems. Right. Where are we going to go for those systems? Well, we are going to leave territory far behind. We're going to zoom all the way over here. There's Augment Space. To the south, you've got some Worm Space. Just a little bit lower, you've got some Circles. Yes, you've got some Circles. As you can see, I've not even... If I can get the screen moving, there we go. I've not even got one system unlocked yet. And that's because, obviously, I've not had the Mantis. I've not had these beacons to get in there. So, what we're going to do is... These are your systems. These will contain your Hostiles, which we are going to go look at. And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go through crewing. Now, there's two sets of crews that I've seen so far. So we need to go back in. Uh, first of all, will be... Do, 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 that one. For maximum loot. Now, there is one officer. I do ones on below deck. And that will be... The line will get rid of protected cargo because we don't need to worry about that one. We'll quickly jump out. As you can see, I've gone up to 1.3 million details. Right down. Cargo now is 33,000. 33,000. That's quite a bit. So, obviously, filling your cargo is the most prominent thing. Now, there is another crew, crew set you can use. And why I've gone off that screen, I don't know. <clears throat> and um, he, I don't think he's here. Nope. We'll have to use the other version, which will be. Da, 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 da. Oh, he's on a ship as well, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, no, there he is. Lorca. Yes. Lorca or Gorkan to start Hull Bridge. Now, these things do rely heavily on um, critical damage, which will help you greatly. So, having a Hull Bridge officer on the ship instead of Ston. Maybe a good idea. You're using five for your mitigation. Weapon is irrelevant. So as you can see, I've got two slots. I'm not even going to hit the ship's maximum stats ability, but a ho, never mind. Um, so and obviously with synergy, she's going to get six. Um, 
just go up to 600 because obviously she's not full synergy because they are both engineering officers. Yes, they are both engineering officers. So unfortunately, they're, you're not going to get the maximum 400% there. But that's absolutely fine. Obviously, like I said, you can also put stock, um, stun up there for the maximum cargo. Um, if you fancy, don't fancy in the whole breach um, ability to go with it. So they are the two primary crews. Five, four, stun with Lalan below deck. I think what we'll do is we'll put a. I will bang in. Oh, hello. <laughs> We'll, we'll do that. There we go. Improve the stats a wee bit. And it takes them up to 1.4 million. Um, so, with the level below deck, this is maximum cargo. Don't forget as well, there is an XCOM buff as well, which will increase your cargo capacity as well. Or you can go for hull breach <coughs> instead of max cargo. Yeah. Go for it. It's entirely your discretion. Now, what I'm actually going to do is, I'm, for the time being, because obviously I'll, I'd rather get to tier 4 first to get a bit more stats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Lalan off the bridge and I'm actually going to put an attack officer up there. So there we go. Brings me up to 270 across the board. So um, I think she tops out at 300%. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll have to go, you have to go to stfc.space for that one. I'm not going to jump over there this video. But anyway, so that that's crewing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it over there. And we are going to pick a low-level system just to start us off. So we're going to go there. It's going to take a couple of minutes to get there. So enjoy the edit as we skip to the system. In fact, I tell you what, before we jump into the um, system, yes, let's have a look at that research. So if we go into the R&D, and you will need to go into Starship's tree, uh, scroll across a little bit. As you can see here, Mantis stuff. Now, none of it is actually lit up for me because I don't have any of the ions. Yes. This is why I say you're going to need to refine some of these just to get some boost. So this one, this is increasing damage against the Actian Hostiles. I mean, look at that boost. 17,500%. And there's 20 levels to this. So what's it going to top out at level 20? A massive 350,000. 350,000. Wow. That's a massive increase. It's only little trinkets it's increasing by... But it's still better than nothing. Mantis Cargo. This is going to be a big one. Increases base amount. So take off the um, Cargo Enhancing Officers. Stand for the line. Take them off. That's what this increases. Just that original amount. And it's going to boost it starting off at 60%. Again, it's another 20 levels. So which means that's going to top out a massive 500%. I've actually not been through any of this yet. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing a lot of this. So... I'm actually, you getting a proper reaction here. So max cargo, that's going to be good. Hull plating, increasing your base hull level. Again, 20 levels are starting off at a 50% increase. And it's going to max out at 600, whoa, 600% base. I mean, that, yeah, it's on base, but that's still a hell of a boost. Wow. Now, base obviously will be with no officers on the ship. So bear that in mind. And impulse speed. Increasing it by 10. And it, level 20 increases by 40. So not exactly a big boost. But I suppose it's something, isn't it? But then again, at 19,250 um, first power. If you remember that big domination um, event that comes around uh, with the Alliance Space one as well. These are probably going to be ideal to do on the first level. Obviously, ne going on to the next level, you're not going to stand a chance. Um, there are a couple of primes as well, let's just quickly mention. Um, double acting venom rewards from acting hostiles with the Mantis. So one level, 100%, but again, it is a prime. You're going to have to go buy this pure venom to actually do this. Whether a free-to-play path comes in for this, I do not know. And then obviously you've got um, 
a synthetic nitrogen refinery again another thousand but also a maximum boost as well increases uh, synthetic nitrogen refinery rewards don't know how much it's going to increase it by because there's no actual percentage just says it gives you a power boost Woohoo! now there is a couple of um, extra researches here as well which i've just spotted you probably spotted them before i did <laughs> base shield health um for the mantis starting off at 100 and topping out at 600 so same along with the hull so that's pretty good and then protected cargo for the, just in case somebody decides they're going to come and steal the cargo off you yeah not doesn't happen very often that one but I'm sure it does on some servers, but 300% will be topping out. So that's actually a pretty good boost. So, yeah. So there your research is. Now, where's the Mantis right now? Oh, she's in the system. So let's go join her. Now, you will see this big red button up here. That is your stinging. Now, this is dependent on your tears. Oh, right. So before we touch on that, let's have a quick look at this one. Now, this is going to give you an Exocom. As you can see, 103 of the um, Acting Venom. It's not an awful lot. Um, but this is what you need. It's the Exocoms. There are three types of Exocoms. Now, let's see if we can find them. This one here is Critical Damage. And as you can see, they've got a five-minute timers. Um, why I've just clicked Scan, I don't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack him while we look for another one. Oh, we've got an Apex one. Now, these are the ones that you want to go after. But ideally, you do need those um, Exocoms. So now, unfortunately, I'm not going to go after it. I'm going to go straight for the Apex. Now, these were originally spawning one at a time. So when one was killed, another one would spawn at some point. But this has been fixed where now multiple, there was up to about three, I think, they've said now is um available so we've got that so there is the exocom for this one that's critical damage against so we don't need to worry about that one um there we go here's the other exocom um which is your silk which increases your number of shots for five minutes so what i would recommend you do is you go around get all three of these then you've got five minutes to go clearing out this system because what you need to do is actually clear out the system and there's a third one um, 100% um, critical chance. So this is pretty much giving you critical hits all the time. So what we'll do is we will look at a battle log after this. Oh, there's another um, Apex here. So we'll go for that one. Oh, 742. So I'm going to let him hit that one. And then we're going to um, go after this Apex. Now... I would highly recommend that you do clear out as many of the explorers as well in here because the more of them you clear out, the more chance you're going to get uh, getting these um, apex ones um, spawning. So we're going to have a quick fly around. So there we go. Mantis is telling me I've only got two exocoms working at current. No, there we go. We've got all three exocoms working. So... Um, so there's an apex. Oh, there's another apex here. Wow. We're, 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 we're hitting bloody good here at the minute. So obviously it is going to be a grind. So don't, don't be fooled that it's not going to be a grind. Um, from what I've heard, the Mantis is one hell of a grind. These Exocoms are going to help you somewhat as well. So let's zoom out a little bit more. Are we going to, oh. Am I going to be just so lucky here to actually hit Apex quite a lot? Because if that's the case, boom. Now, we do have another feature for the Mantis as well. I don't think there's any players in here, is there? No, so we pretty much got this system to ourselves. So there's another Apex over there. So we'll go running after that in just a minute. But you've got this little... Um, thing here now as you can see it's a minute 30 for me that's because i'm only a tier two this does get um more this uh takes longer to work on players uh, uh, uh stings players for even longer because it is against player ships and this is what it does it literally reduces everything reduces everything delays weapon fire stop ships warping now i also think um, I can't be 100% sure, but I also think that this thing 
actually does stop your ship moving full stop. It, you can't even move at impulse. So I think I've had it where somebody stung me and I, and I couldn't move. So I, I think that might have just been a slight technical hitch. I don't know. I've not seen it happen again because nobody's actually st stung me. So um, for stinging, it's part of your dailies. Like I said, we'll record that in that next in that next segment. But wow, I'm I'm, I'm getting these apex. Wow, wow, I'm really hitting these apex um, for some chronic here. I'm, this this is this is fun. So I'm going to continue this grind and I'm going to, and then in the morning I will, re or like I say tomorrow evening, I will record the dailies and show you the dailies. So, and then I, I will show you as well my battle logs. So actually, yes, let's have a quick look at the battle logs. So there's next apex. Right, battle logs. Now, we should be hitting criticals because of these, um, Bone things six rounds. This is lasted. That's not bad. So let's have a look. Let's move myself over. Wow, look at that nine, ten and a half. Wow, critical hits as well. Um, nothing there. Crit, 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 crit. I think what I should have shown you as well is the weapon, but th this is literally criticals hands down. I mean, the Action is hitting me with... Whoa! That's a big one. Almost 50,000... 50 million, 52 million down there! Whoa! And that, that destroyed the damn thing. Whoa! That's... That's insane! Even the Vadar don't kick out. Wow! I am highly impressed. I am. I'm literally so... Oh, there we go. We got one. So... <laughs> Let's do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to. So we, who's this? Uh, so it's Hacky. It's part now. As you can see, we've got the red symbol on the bottom. Boom. Oh, sorry, mate. I just stung you. So there we go. We've finally done our first sting. Yes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry on grinding. I'm going to leave him to sit for the next minute and a half, and then I'll um, record the next bit. Well, we're jumping straight back into the game. Yes, we haven't even got to the morning yet because, look, it's only 22.57. Yes, a little bit longer because I noticed I found something. Yes, look, the rear. The dailies came straight in. I thought it would be after reset. And I've already stung two people. And I've already had a crybaby. Yes. So let's have a quick look at the dailies. Okay, now apparently my, there we go. Yeah, let's move myself over. So jumping back into game, as you can see, my um, Mantis is under repair because I've actually finished um, the first one. So what we're going to do is we're going to show what, showcase the um, stinging method, um, the, well, the dailies, that's the one we're looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fly over to someone else's territory. <laughs> yeah, we're going to fly over here. A former alliance, I'm, I'm sure they won't mind me stinging them. But anyway, the dailies you're going to find, obviously, in your daily chest. You've got Actian Hunter and Actian Slayer. Your Actian Hunter is going to be the one that you will be able to do every single day. Because all you need to do, basically, is hit two people. The amount of condensed venom that you get out of your refinery will only entitle you to do two stings per day now obviously i've got a bit of a back stock at the minute because of what's been built up as you've seen so far so which means i can do the slayer as well but the one thing is if you save up the um huh, that's a bit flickery if you save up the uh, condensed venom for two days yes two days you can do both of those in one run now Look at that, 2,700 whole fragments I'm going to get. That's once every two days. Compared to if I did that daily. If I did that daily, I would not get this. No. 
If I did Hunter every single day, I would not be able to do the Slayer. Now, if I saved up, yes, I'm going to lose a total of 918 whole fragments. Wow, whoopee do. 918 lost a, just for missing one day. But 918 plus 2,700 is 3,618 per day. Oh, every two days, right? That is double four times, actually four times that. Yes. So for missing out 918, so one, one day of this, just to do it, to make sure that you can do the Slayer, you're going to end up with f four times the amount of that in total. But yeah, if you only if you did um, the hunter every single day, you're getting eighteen hundred and thirty six. Well, that's half the two days. So bear that in mind when you actually do start using your condensed venom. So I've got one more run to do in those systems. Now I am there. There is a cooldown on um, stinging, of course. So, let's have a look, because there'll probably be some there. Now, let's have a look, see who we can actually upset. Okay, so there's nobody here that's really going to flicker an eyelid if I sting them. So, we're going to go for Mika. Um, Mika76 there. So, we're going to sting him. Now, that is what I call a cooldown timer. That is what I call a cooldown timer. It actually tells you how long you've got left. So what I'm going to do is, while that's working, is I'm going to send a miner out. All the way to Klingon Space. We'll start there, looking around for a system, that uh, a node, a decent node that I can mine for the night. Now, I can't do anything about the all one yet because, well... The Mantis is currently occupying that port. Still a minute 13 to go. Yay! So, ooh, who's got their shield down? Oh, yeah, that's a dead base. Eh, no one else. That's the, the, the only thing about this is waiting for these timers. <clears throat> so uh, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to go back and pull some more um, Strange New Worlds officers. Yeah. So I'll show you how much I actually earned in the first run. In fact, I can show you that when we actually do the re um, refinery bit. 20 seconds to go. <laughs> ding ding boom daily's done so now I'm going to jump into there. And as you can see, boom, I've got them both. So now, obviously, because of the amount of um, condensed venom, like I've already said, I'm still going to be able to do this tomorrow, both sets. So I'm going to get both of them. But obviously, it's going to be after event reset, which is going to be fine. So there we go. Now, so we're going to jump into the refinery. And I'm going to... Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Oh, piss off. There we go. Right, so power core for the next level. There we go. So that means we can take it up another tier. Yay! Right, so as you can see now, I actually have 22,000 of the new Venom, which means I'm now golden. I'm on my way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally pull... The small amounts. I am going to go do another run. I, sh I could really wait to do these in the morning. With my um, dailies. 
but I want this. Yeah, I want this. So that's that. Uh, have we got enough probably to do that one? No, we haven't got enough. But <clears throat> like I said, this was going to be one that you do not need to worry about. Now, you've just seen, I've done that in less than 22,000. It's taken me 18,000 just to do that. 18,000. And then, here's your cooldowns. 22 hours. Your ions are 3 days. Your syndicate is also 22 hours. So, every day, you're going to be able to do your nitrium and your syndicate. And every three days, you're going to be able to do the um, Venom. So by the looks of this, one run, and I've got enough to do this, because I guarantee I'm going to be building up that excess so I can do the ions. And then eventually, maybe I'll be able to do these as well. I can't remember what the cooldown time is for them, but that's neither here nor there. So let's go pull these. So another two for Ortegas. Five for Pike. Nice. <clears throat> Another one for Hemner. And last one is Ahura. So there we go. That That is it. So that is the Mantis. To me, this is going to be a fantastic addition to my fleet to go out and do this. Now, by the looks of this, I don't need to do more than one run a day by the looks of this. Providing I can get a good run on those... Um, Apexes as you have actually seen me do in this video. Like I said, I stung somebody in there. They threw a bit of a cry fitty at me saying, we're in a token system, blah, 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 blah. I said, yeah, our server role, role is token systems are off limits to attacks. Not stinging, attacks. So as far as I'm aware, I was justified in what I did. Quite happy with that. But anyway, let me know what you think about the Mantis. Drop it in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as well. Also, if you do wish to donate to the channel as well, there is the PayPal link in my channel's description. For some reason, the Cash App one's not there. But the Cash App one is available through the live streams. It did appear on last night's live stream at right at the end. So obviously, go do check it out there. I will get it added to description eventually. If not, check the community post as well. There is the link in there as well. All, all funds will be greatly received and you will have my eternal love. Um, it will be going towards a PC setup so I don't actually have to use a mobile. So which means I can probably extend my hands a little bit further than like I used to do when I was just doing the green screen, chroma keying it over the top. So, but luckily I've got this lovely app that allows it to chroma key and just put me in, save me doing two recording devices. But anyway, that's me done for the day. That is the Mantis. Let me know what you think. Time for me to go to bed and get some sleep because surprisingly though, tomorrow is actually my birthday. Yes, 38. Ah, another nail in a coffin. <sighs> But still, still got kids to look after and feed and get ready for school. So anyway, I'm off. I need to get some sleep. Catch you in the, on the next video. Stay safe and live long and prosper. This is Admiral Pegasus on the Pegasus Show saying good night. Mm -hmm.